Hello, I'm Lima Alpha 6, November Charlie Alpha. I'm now located in Denmark and I will try to call a station in Norway with this small German spy radio. The Crypto Museum website is the place that has the best information about the SE109-3. Everything you need to know is there. I will therefore not try to describe this radio in more detail. Visit their website. The SE109-3 was a complete radio station, housed in a tin box. It was the last one released by the Abwehr in 1943 and is also known as the Kextos, biscuit tin. It is powered by a battery pack or by an optional power supply unit. The transmitter produces an output power of 3 watts, and the sensitive receiver is built around 3 DF-11 tubes. The set was also used after World War II by the organization Galen. Organization Galen was specialized in covert intelligence gathering in Eastern Bloc countries. Galen recruited many former FHO and Abwehr personnel, and their agents played an important role during the early years of the Cold War. This spy organization used the SE-109-3 for secret communications from the communist countries. The S. E109-3 is now ready on the table. After our successful call to Norway with the 1 watt Torndav U.B1, I'm curious if this small 1943 spy radio can do it too. This will be exciting. I'm going to try calling Norway now. The distance to LA5MT is 480 kilometers. This is a normal distance a spy would use. LA5MT, this is OZ slash LA6NCA over. Slightly inaccurate receiver scale makes it a little difficult to find the right signal. Yes, there he is. Many people listen on the CW, so I will try not to talk on top of the CW. He answers me and sends RST549. That means there are very good signals in Norway. The antenna must be connected to the transmitter. I send that his report is RST-599, which means almost perfect signals. QTH is Venno, which means I am transmitting from Venno. I thank him for the QSO and send 73, which means best regards.
I'll end the QSO with our call signs. He ends with 73 and his call sign. I end with two dots. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. We successfully made contact with Norway over a distance of 480 kilometers using this SE 109 3 spy radio from 1943. That's truly amazing for such an old piece of equipment. The most important for this contact was the antenna you see here on the beach. It's a 5 8 end-fed antenna, set up using fishing rods. A simple setup, but incredibly effective. Thank you for joining me on this video into radio history and espionage. See you next time. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe and uh, please write a comment below. Thank you.